just passing by this lake first thing in the morning. It's so still and quiet here. Good day, all you wonderful people. Welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al. Try and name look at. And today we are walking. Well, I'm planning to walk about 33 miles. I think Shade's only going to go 27. And uh, we're going to walk and we're going to pass some dirt roads. We're going to pass some lakes. We're going to pass some bridges. We're going to pass some junctions. It's a very exciting day of passing a lot of things that are usually mundane. But this lake is absolutely stunning. What a place to be first thing in the morning. Mount Rainier National Park. We've just walked through part of it and come down to a road. Boy Scouts doing trail magic. That's awesome, guys. thank you so much. That's Troop 268, Yakima, Washington. So we have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich station here. You guys are going to fire up the grill pretty soon. And we've got fresh fruit, some pre-prepared trail mix, carrots, and other little snacks. Over there, we have first aid, baby wipes, so I've had a face wash, hand sani, and a charging station. Over the other side of the car park, or at least in the middle of it, we've got another load of trail magic. We have trail magic territory wars going on. What's your vote? Which one do you go for, Boy Scouts or independent trail magic? Probably leaning independent trail magic, but at the same stage, happy to support this guy any day. Okay, let's go and check it out. Shade's already been here for close to two hours. <laughs> That's two hours of my life. <laughs> so guys, you want to introduce yourselves? Don and Beth Phipps, Repulse Washington. And what brings you out here to give us trail magic? You guys. We're living our lives through you. Yeah. <laughs> Vicariously. Vicariously. There you go. That was too big a word for me. But thank you for the help. So what we got going on here? They have got the grill fired up. Yep. We've got some um, genuine hot dogs. Real hot dogs with and, skin uh, on them. Yep. <laughs> and and uh, eggs and yep. sodas and yep. bourbon and vodka. <laughs> and Looks like a little farmer's market going on in here. You got. <laughs> It looks so too good. It's too good to touch. It's also well laid out. It looks beautiful. Somewhere in there, there's you. something healthy. <laughs> I that do is love, my doing. I do love the fact that you've got those giant bottles of hard <laughs> liquor. <laughs> just like very, that's very exactly what I need to hike 30 miles. <laughs> Things you do when you're young, you know. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to make a move. When I say it's time to make a move, it was time to make a move two hours ago. And we are still here eating free food from two different trail magics and chatting to lots of different people. Oh my gosh, I'm so full. We have to go. But it turns out that Shade and I, this time yesterday, had done more miles than we've currently done today when we started at six. So, and this time yesterday, we'd only just left White Pass. So uh, trail magic has vortexed us and caused us to have a very stressful afternoon trying to make up the miles. 33.3 is out of reach at this stage and I don't even know if 10.3 uh, is possible. <laughs> Thank you.
Wonder what a ski resort looks like in summer? Now you know. Ladies and gentlemen. Just look at the topsoil erosion around here. With the trees all burnt out, it's just like sand dunes. Ladies and gentlemen, behind me is the Mike Auric cabin, which is a uh, cabin built and maintained by a snowmobile club and it's for public use so there's hikers that are camping here tonight and uh, some inside some outside let's go check it uh, take a look and check it out pretty dark this turn on so let's have a look here <laughs> oh, little mezzanine area okay oh place to put your pack so the mice don't get it um, wood burning stove for the winter. Mm. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, shortly after I got to the cabin last night, the sun went down. And it got dark very very quickly there wasn't really enough time for me to cook and also say good night and uh, goodbye and everything to you so i thought i would do my roundup now that the sun is coming up the next day and i'm already departed on my hike so about mid-afternoon yesterday shade and i had a talk about our different goals as far as mileage was concerned her goal for 27 my goal for 33 obviously those went out the window with a three hour stop at two different trail magics in the same car park so we ended up adjusting our aimed mileage and i went 28 and i'm not sure how far she got because we you know can't really keep in touch when there's no phone signal and anything out here but i made it to the cabin the cabin was lovely surprisingly clean Unfortunately, there was a lot of graffiti inside and there was a sign right up next to a sign that said, please don't graffiti. Yet people felt the need to carve their name into the wood or use a Sharpie to let people know, hey, I've been here. You should know about it, which is stupid. So I am on my own again, but I have to slow down. I have to. I said it at the White Pass, I have to slow down um, and I didn't. I will at some point i'll slow down at some point i'm a way ahead of schedule so i have to slow down otherwise i'm just going to end up sitting at the border for uh, a week before i babble on any further i'm going to put this vlog to rest and say that's all i have for you today so thank you for joining me and i'll see you in the next one